Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a... I've been loving this kind of look. I'm a inst not on my Instagram, I'm just doing this kind of makeup where it's like glitzy and it looks like I'm someone important and I'm going somewhere important. Meanwhile, I'm just like going to like pick and pay. But anyways, whatever. Face beat is a face beat as long as someone sees it, right? So um, I just did this easy makeup look. I thought it was easy. It's like a cut crease but it's very minimal and it's very easy i think please let me know if you think it is easy and before we get started please be sure to subscribe to my channel as well as like this video and comment down below any suggestions that you might have for any of my future videos please and then i have nothing else to say let's just get on with the video i'm starting off by priming my face with the kiki beauty makeup ready face primer and rubbing it all over my face I'm actually using the Smashbox pore minimizing primer um, I actually started using it the other day and I really like the two primer effect so I'm going to mix my two foundations, which is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in bronze and then the NYX Total Control Drops in cappuccino. I'm just going to be using a flat brush just to apply it onto my skin and thereafter I will be using, um, I'm using a a real technique sponge just to blend it out onto my face then I'm going in with the Allego Pro coverage concealer to highlight all the points so under my eyes I'm going to highlight and all the usual places. Then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and pounce it all out and blend it in seamlessly. After that, I'm going to set it with my Benai Banana Powder, um, powder obviously. And then I'm going to just set it everywhere that I applied the concealer. After this, I'm taking my Yardley Stay Fast Press Powder, um, and it's just the color of my actual sh my complexion, just to ha ha get extra coverage. So I'm just going to pat it onto my face. So I'm just going to use the shade just to set the concealer that I just applied to prime my eyelids and just pat it everywhere. Do not swipe, just pat. I'm going to switch brushes now and then I'm going to go into my two transition colors which are these two colors. an orangey and like a, a neutral brown I'm just going to blend that into my crease to create a transition color and it's always best to use windshield wiper motion And 
now I'm going in with this color I'm just going to focus it on the outer corner and then um, on the upper crease and then I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to just put it on the outer corners on the outer V that is all I'm not moving it onto my lid or anything I am just going to try to darken everything from the upper crease to the actual outer corner Um, I just took out my concealer in order to carve out the crease Then I'm going to take this shimmer shadow on in the Morphe 35O palette and I'm just going to use my finger just to apply it onto the concealer. And I'm also going to take this color and I'm going to mix it onto on top of that other shade. Mix and mix and mix. And now I'm going to apply mascara. This is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara. And then I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Blush Collection um, Glam Palette. And I'm going to go in with the bronzer shade and I'm going to just bronze up my face. And now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Strobing Light um, Powder in the, I think it's the shade 20 watts, but if not, it will be down below as well. And then I'm now applying my lipstick, which is the LA Girl, I think it's Soft Mattes, but it's in the shade a Snuggle. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. Be my friend, be my friend. And please don't forget to like this video and, and comment down below. And I will see you next time.